Looking now at politics in Alabama and the latest in the Governor Bentley scandal. Governor Robert Bentley is supposed to testify tomorrow morning before State Auditor Jim Ziegler, but he says he's not showing up. News 5's Emily DeVoe spoke to the auditor through FaceTime to get his reaction and what he plans to do if he's stood up by the governor. State Auditor Jim Ziegler says he'll be in his office first thing Monday morning with or without the governor. I will be there Monday morning at 10 o'clock with the questions ready to go uh, in case that he changes his mind or that it's a bait and switch tactic uh, to try to catch me unprepared if he were to show up. Bentley told the media he's fully cooperating with the State Ethics Commission so he doesn't have to meet directly with the state auditor. But Ziegler says that the auditor's office gives him the authority to summon any state official who might be misusing state money. So already we're starting the research into what to do next to compel him to comply. Meanwhile, efforts in the House to move forward with impeachment proceedings are finally making headway. 23 legislators signed a petition to send the impeachment documents to a new Judiciary Committee. But even still, it could take months before the committee returns to the full House to put it up for a vote, making some question whether or not it's all for show. There are reports that the leadership in the House does not want to consider the impeachment and has um, taken steps and will continue to take steps to block the impeachment. Uh, we'll see about that. And Ziegler will have to wait and see if the governor shows up Monday morning. In Mobile, Emily DeVoe, News 5. Ziegler says he identified 11 different categories where he believes the governor might be misusing state funds. He says he'll make announcement tomorrow on what will happen if Bentley is a no-show.